Hi everyone, I'm Will from Wheels Electrical Services, also known as the Midfield General. In tonight's show, I just want to give you a quick tour of my little laser levels. I actually call these a game changer because they have proper changed the way how I do things from plotting out to from everything from cable cleating to containment, everything. It changes absolutely everything and it's, it's brilliant. I'll give you a quick little rundown of like where I found it, it helps out. When I was when I first started and I was trainee, I used to do a lot of containment with a guy, Tony, who, who taught me who taught me the ropes and all that. And we used to do a lot of compartment, free compartment trunking that was quite intricate. And we used to spend out a day plotting it all out in plant rooms, you know, because, you know, obviously free compartment 12 inch trunking takes a lot of effort just to uh, do a set, like any form of set. Although, you know, we used to get string out and everything because, you know, it, what will take you a day to plot it all out could actually save you a week in the end just by being organised. The guy was the guy was a genius, to be fair. But there, now you've got the laser levels. It's it's amazing how quick they are. These come in handy. New extensions where you got block and bleam floors, and you need a finished floor level. So, you know, one of these I'd set up on the finished floor level, and then the other I'd probably put at you know the socket height, which is four fifty off the ground to the bottom or you find the center 52 you know off the off the datum line and then you got the center of the, all the sockets that's one of the things that i do find is a good tip and always that i find helpful is wherever i'm doing any socket especially in a uh, kitchen or anything like that is that if i if you if you shine it so straight through the middle of the lugs and the sockets will be perfect every single time. I did, I picked it up a tip off uh, Instagram to be honest, because I did used to do the bottom of the boxes, but the boxes obviously, because when you're chasing them out, they can turn a little bit and all that. But if you do it through the center of the lugs, every single time they'd be perfect. Also, they're also good, they're like magic for cleating, you know, um, conduit drops, everything. Because obviously with conduit drops, especially if it's surface, you you know, we used to, I used to use a, lay, uh, a level and then just mark it on there. But with this, you instantly know whether it clashes. So if you want to get in somewhere, so I'll quickly come here and show you. So for instance, you know, if you want to get by beside the side of that flag and the side of that builder's board, look, you can see straight away where you want to come down. Yeah, straight over there. I hope you can see that, but you instantly know. So, you know, like where before, you can spend hours, you know, trying to see if stuff will clash and all that. It's just instant and it's perfect. I have actually cleaned these up. I, uh, I've been watching a few other people's uh, tool videos on uh, YouTube of how about their maintenance and all that. And I'll probably do my own video, but I've, I've literally just cleaned them with WD-40 and... Uh, what do they call them, big wipes. Yeah, they've come out like new. I've, I'll put an image up of what they were like before I started, because especially the green one was absolutely caked in red, red brick. But yeah, they're, they're absolutely magic, and I, and I absolutely love them. A couple of tips. I'll, I'll quickly bring you in, and, and we can have a quick look at... Uh... So what I'll do is I'll give you a quick close-up of the lasers. What I'll do is I'll show you the green one. It's identical. So what you get is that you get this little uh, bracket. So you get, so you get this little vice that I should imagine must be for the full ceilings. You know the suspended ceilings with the little top hats. You've also got the uh, little fixing, little fixing there. So obviously you got the magnet. I think that this is so you can, you know, I use the, um, I use the actual um, wood saw, but you know, because obviously it's a strong old magnet. So that goes in like that, and that sits in like that. You have three little holes there to have spare batteries. I never bother, you know what I mean? Right, and as I say, this is the green one. So that you've got, so you've got the um, vertical there and the horizontal there. See that? So it's flashing because it's not le it's not level, and that's the little warning light. So once the battery becomes becomes um, a bit dull that starts flashing on the green one that's probably after about 20 minutes honestly for for the price i pay for these batteries these ever ready ones that i put in there i really i really don't really notice them but i notice that these absolutely cane 
the batteries i know you could probably put rechargeable batteries but i'm not really into that i'm you know it means carrying around more leads more more stuff you know i've got an office full of a drawer full of shit like that which you know i can't be dealing with and this green one has got the you know and it's obviously got the mount there for the tripod which i've never had that's why i've showed you all the tricks so you don't really need one it's just more stuff and that's where the batteries go in it's got a nice little seal in there so the dust can't get in there but honestly i'm so impressed i've i cleaned both of these up with the uh, wd-40 and wet wipes and they've come out like brand new i'll tell you it's well impressive I'll quickly show you the red one just so you can see the diff difference so the red one is absolutely ideal you know this one is probably about six years old and that's probably about two years old i think something like that they're beautiful yeah so you've obviously got the little hanging that's what what that's what i usually use i usually use them you know to hang them on the wall you've also got the line there for the laser where it comes up and then also obviously you've got that that's the center of the laser so if you mark that on the wall then you know you're going to be spot on every single time so i'll show you the buttons they what, what do they come with they don't do come with a little hook plate that you can put on the wall that's what we mainly use or you know it does come with a magnet so if you're doing sockets and you're in a house you can you can always what a good tip is that i'd always put a bit of paper but you can put it on the radiator that's always pretty good also another little tip is that if you're in a house and you've got any paintings and all that which you usually have is that you just get yourself a little wood a wood saw and then you can just literally just hang it off the paint in and then you've got it you know it's brilliant you know it's 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 good for everything like plot like as i say i put a couple of images up it's good for plotting out so if you're doing any first fixes on any flats before the wall like the partition walls come up you know it's good for keeping your run straight and all that i know you can usually chalk line that because it doesn't really matter but it's absolutely instant you know what i mean and you know that's the good thing about it because if you know if you're plotting all your fixings you might as well do it it's like we even sometimes use it for uh, for joists like for when we're drilling joists on rewires and all that because it just keeps it easier you know the, the straighter the runs of the the uh cuts for the joist the the need to the cable and it just you know saves effort because we, we've done that big barn and um we've done that big barn where it was all timber frame and all that and i think we was first fixing it for about three weeks and honestly it was you, you forget how tiring that is pulling cables through like uh timber frame houses and all that because we was you know i thought i was gonna have a heart attack at the end of it and it was just your your chest muscles just you know every single cable gets pulled through the walls it's it's very tiring but yeah to keep it plus it keeps it neat and then obviously it's easier for all our wiring zones and stuff like that that's that's really good we've done a barn for the magic of christmas over in walken where it's all pine like uh, cladding and all that so we had to plot all the lights and everything you know so like it turned out to be immaculate and it was lovely and it was just it's just really good um another really good way is that you know like obviously if we're plotting anything like uh, what i tend to do is if i'm on my own is i usually plot you know because what a lot of people do is always plot the ceiling but you know the floor is exactly the same and sometimes what i do is measure 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 the room then plot them out on the on the floor so if it's a furnished house i'll probably because we've probably got floor protected down i'll probably do a mark on the floor and that and then we're just running through it and it is perfect because obviously whatever matches on the floor matches with the ceiling and, and you know sometimes that works out better you know it's a lot easier than getting up your steps and you know marking you know because you know you don't want to be marking the seat you know the ceiling but yeah that's really good and all, also you know because sometimes it does also show you that aren't level and sometimes you know if you do put the laser up it ruins everything else we a prime example i put on the screen is that we've done a uh we've done a shed for a guy he's he's funny enough he was uh he's got he was building a model model uh train set in there as well so what he done is he paid someone about three grand to build a shed for the guy and they've built it it's on a slant so at one end it's like about a foot or higher than the other so but what they did have is that they had a bit of uh four by two or whatever it is going around the side 
that was level to the floor, so we had to keep it butted with that, so it looked all right, you know, because it would have just it would have just ruined the whole look, you know what I mean? If it, if we would have put it all level, it would have just ruined it for the guy. But yeah, it turned out all right. So you know, they do, it does have its pros and cons, but these are, are magic. Right back to the actual lasers. So this is the red one. This is awesome in like um, in conditions like evenings, you know, dull areas. Like uh, Reese, who, who does a bit of work for me every now and then, like uh, his girlfriend bought him one for Christmas, and, I, and we were chatting about it. And I said, you know, you know, if you were to ask me whether I wanted the red one or the green one, because obviously I I've got both now. When I, when I first when I had the red one, I you know it was brilliant. It's an absolute game changer, but it's the same as everything. Everything evolves. You know, it's like they get ones that are rechargeable. Now you can put rechargeable batteries in this. But the red ones, the, bar, the batteries last probably about 20 hours, I'd say, I guess, you know. You know, it's on and off, on and off. But you don't you don't really notice the, the, the battery consumption on this. So, you know, because I buy all my batteries from uh, the wholesalers now where I get packs of the Ever Readies. I had them about here a minute. Oh, here you go. <laughs> Yeah, so I have the packs of the Ever Readies. I think I pay about £2.50 for 10 of those. It's pretty good, the, the Energizer Industrial, you know. So they, they don't cost a lot, so you don't really tend to worry. Because I usually have to have about two or three packs of those in the van because of the, the Mega Tester and all that, a few other bits and all that. And they, they, they last, they last quite a while. The only problem is, which really made me get the green one, is that the red one is useless in sunlight. Like, like absolutely, it's not like bad. In, su in, in direct sunlight or a bright day like spring, summer, you cannot see the laser level at all. You know, so it does cause it a bit redundant. And that's where the green one comes in. And the green one, apparently, I don't know, I'll, I'll see it on another YouTube video, you know, is that uh, uh, apparently uh, the human eye is better at seeing green than any other color, I don't know why. But it's true It's true for this anyway, because it's bright as anything, it's clear as anything, it's really nice. And that's even in the, you know, in direct sunlight, you know, it is really good, it, it works a treat. The only difference by appearance between these two is obviously the code on the air, like, They've got the same code, but I think this one's GG, if you obviously the green, I presume, is that actually on the buttons, they've actually got green, where this one's black and yellow, this one is got like green on there. I'll show you a close up picture of them, you know. But yeah, it's really nice and like, it's identical size, everything. And that's why I got it, because I'm so happy with this, that uh, it's so simple. Like Dwalt as a brand, you know, it's it's pucker, you know, it's the same as them all, but I'm I'm a Milwaukee fan. And, you know, at the time of me doing this video, the, the Milwaukee lasers have just come over to uh, Britain and all, and uh, they're, they're too expensive, like at the moment, I think they want about 400 quid, where I think the red one costs about 100 quid and this one costs about 160. So, you know, you're almost looking at double the price. I will get one, obviously, because they're rechargeable. And I also think that with lasers, you probably can't have enough, you know, especially when we're plotting down lights, you, you know, you've always gonna have, you usually, you always do them symmetrical, like in rows or stuff like that, because that is a good thing about them. But yeah, they're beautiful. And uh, other things, so what I'll do is I'll get, I'll dim the lights down and I'll give you a good example of how they work and what they look like in dull light. What I've got is I've got some rack in here, so I'll just put them on there so you can see it. It's like when they're offline as well, when they're not level, is, is that they flash. And one of the annoying things is with the, uh, the green laser, is that it, it eventually turn itself off when it isn't level, where the red one will continuously flash, which, which I know that doesn't make, I know that you'll probably think that, that sounds a bit silly, but it does get a bit annoying. And plus and all, what I find with the green one is when the battery starts dying, it turns itself off and it's just annoying because every time you go to use it, it's like with the red one, it just fades to nothing, where the, the green one just keeps turning itself off. I don't know whether, I keep thinking that I've got a bit of a dodgy one, but I don't know, you know, but as you see, it's absolutely beautiful. and. It's endless, it's absolutely endless the uses you can have it from, from containment 
to plotting out stuff to hanging pictures i've used it for absolutely everything and plus and all my customers always seem to want to borrow it when i'm on site and, and all and they always seem to fall in love with them anyway i'll bring you up that's enough for end to enough for episode i've hoped you've liked and uh, you can like subscribe and all that sort of jazz anyway don't forget if you're going to be anything the be electric up the old blues oh yay Yeah, so this is what I was saying is obviously if you want to use a radiator